Hey everybody, my name is Roshona Fitzpatrick. I am the pastor for City Word Church, but I am also the executive pastor of the Historic Stone Temple Church located here in North Lawndale. And I am with this very special guy, and I'm going to let him introduce himself. Who are you? Oh, my name is Ruben Marin, and this is my daughter. This is my beautiful daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to live in the neighborhood. Back in the 60s, I think we'd be born in the 66s. I think we'd be born in the 66s. Mm -hmm. Over the next door, right behind, the building right behind us. Mm -hmm. One of the buildings that tore down, and then my brother would live right across the street from me. And so it's, it's a nice neighborhood. Well, it's a nice neighborhood back in there. It's a nice neighborhood now, It's still man. a nice neighborhood yeah. now, yeah. And we love yeah. to be here. We love to be yep. in this community. Yeah, and I just enjoy coming to church every Sunday when we have service. And we used to wonderful people that they go to church down here. And I enjoyed my vision. He's a wonderful man. I got a wonderful son in law. And I enjoyed it. He served on Sunday. And I also uh, enjoyed it to my daughter on Sunday morning at 8 30. So I'll be in church every Sunday from 8 o'clock to about 3 o'clock every Sunday. Well, praise the Lord, somebody. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> for his longevity. My dad will be 82 years old in July. As a matter of fact, on July 22nd. So, very happy about that. And again, very happy to be in this neighborhood. As a matter of fact, this is a neighborhood that I can remember growing up in from the ages of birth to six years old. This very park where we're sitting is where my parents used to bring us to have picnics. And so here I am every Sunday having service here. God has a, a great way of bring, bringing things back full circle. So I'm happy to be here. My seat on bed is coming up really nicely, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm so happy. Yep, these were donated to us by Midwest Ground Covers, and I'm so happy because this seat on bed is coming up so beautifully. I'm so, so happy about that. Me and my um, partner. Let's have this space, and this is our Love Looms here Plaza. And what we're going to have here is a coffee shop. Spot Museum, having all kind of exhibits about us in our community, which gets me so excited. And I'm standing here with my dad um, in a space that I'm all familiar, too familiar with, and so is my dad familiar. Um, so, Dad, what does those buildings over there, that building, represent to you? Oh, uh, well, we used to live. We used to live in that building right there for about a month, and then we moved to the building next to where we got our roots when you came here from Alabama. Um, when did you come to Chicago from Alabama? I came here. In 1957. Yeah. And so we lived here. Neighborhood. We, this was your neighborhood, right? Right. On. So North London was where you migrated to. Right. From Alabama, Marion, Alabama, as a matter of fact, yeah. to Chicago, Illinois, to this community. Uh -huh. And so you lived there with me. How many other children do you have in the house? Five of us lived in this house. And so this boulevard means something special to us because, yep. number one, we used to come here and picnic, right? Right, we used to go to the park over there and have picnic over there. Wow. It was nice. They were happy, man. Wow. It was still nice. It was still nice. And then Stone Temple Church is where we now worship at, which is amazing yeah. in and of itself. Um, the same picnic ground that I picnic on is now when I'm worshiping and praising God on. God has a real great way of bringing us things back full circle. Not only do I just remember living here, but I also remember my uncle and his five children living right across the street in that, where that red fence is. It's like this is just an amazing place to be. And now we get an opportunity to create a beautiful space. And I can just look to my left or right, depending on where I'm standing, and see a place where I used to live. And then look across the street and see a place where I used to have picnics with my family. And then a place where I worship at. I'm just amazed just being out here. Daddy, how does it make you feel? Oh, make me feel good. Make me feel good. Come over here on Sunday. And not only on Sunday, I come over to the week too. We sit out here in the yard. Always come out here. I don't do any work now, but I just come out here and sit down right here and do the work now. Which I enjoy doing. This is where I come over here to pretend to die out there every day. And then watch them work. So that when yeah. you came to Chicago, you, you at some point you decided that you needed to have a house. Why did you decide right. that? Because when you were in, the landlord didn't want you to keep it for the north, no, no, and you can't make no kids be quiet. And right, they got tired of the landlord putting the, talking about the kids, you were for the north, 
Those are probably going by no how we can keep the ball no we're gonna keep nobody can take them back. Right. And what makes me happy about you buying a house, okay, not just making the noise, but we had that big backyard yep. that we didn't have to play on the street. Five won't be nothing like that. We could play in our backyard. And you did something else that was traditional to your family. What did you do in our backyard? Oh, I had a garden, I had a beautiful garden back then. I had a lot of water. I bet them everything back there. You know, I had a lot of flowers back in the yard. Because we have flowers in the yard too. Uh, and, and I love green tomatoes and collard greens and black and, and hot pepper. Those were my three main things that I painted for. That was the first thing I painted. So, but I had cabbage out there, I had turtle green, I, I had uh, oak green, I had squash, I had it. Everything you name, I had in the garden like that. Wow, and where was I when you was doing that planting? Right. Where was I when you in the house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so at that time, I was in the house, and what was yeah. I doing in the house, yeah, Dad? You, you were studying, that she was in the house studying. Mm. I'd like for him to yeah. tell that story. So it wasn't that yeah. I was being yeah. a lazy or didn't want to no, do it, I was kind of studying. studying no. But I'm uh, so glad that yeah. I had an example of a dad yeah. that would plant and that would make sure that we always had something to eat yeah. or whatever we needed. Yeah. I can never ever remember uh, me and my family or my our siblings not having something that we yeah. want because our father was a champion for taking care of his family yeah. um, mm -hmm. just a champion for it and my mom was there to just make sure we had everything we needed my dad was the type of man father and still is that if you need something he's gonna make sure you get it I remember days when my dad was at home on a Friday he would get paid he'd bring the check stub and dollar bills and all the change and put it on the table and then my mother could make sure that we had everything that we need going back to the fact that we he gardened and planted flowers right across the street on this boulevard now it's tying to my heart making me feel real good it's a beautiful garden it's a floral garden and it's also a vegetable garden that me and a group created i didn't think i could grow anything because i had never grown anything before not even out of the star foam cups in elementary school did i grow anything but now like my dad squashes oak collards bell peppers, onions, anything you can imagine is in that garden. And to that, I give God glory, but for having a father that showed me how to do it, even though I wasn't paying attention, it was still something that in Ankeny I received. And so I'm grateful today for my dad.